It's just one change in a 4-3-3 today. It is Patrick Stechnij who gets his first pro start today. The 17-year-old from Chicago is replacing Patrick Los, who is sick. It was Jeff Galdo who got the start last week. He is not part of the 18 today for the fire. Columbus may be a bit of surprise that they are in this game today, but they have so much good pedigree in the playoffs over the first two years in MLS Next Pro. An upset win last week, and for head coach Kelvin Jones, he makes two changes, two pretty important changes, though. Owen Prestis and Taha Brun are out of the lineup coming in. Xavier Zenge, along with Tristan Brown, enter the lineup in this 3-4-3. Stas Lapkis, one of the bright young goalkeepers in the league, it's Jacob Green standing over it. There is the whistle, and we are underway today from SeatGeek Stadium in Bridgeview, Illinois, the Eastern Conference semifinals. It's long over the top. It's Reynolds tracking back. And he'll win it back for Chicago. Well done. Now Diouf and Rochester. Columbus trying to win this ball back in a good area, and they do. They take it off of Justin Reynolds, and they can reset with Rogers. Here's Xavier Zenge. Play this in, Jaden Da. Da cuts it back, Da goes for goal. And it's a first save of the day for Patrick Stechnij. Jaden Da looked to be in on goal there. Maybe that first touch just let him down a bit. Took him away from goal. He was kept on side by Justin Reynolds at the top of the screen. As he cut it back, he got the shot on target. It's the first shot on target today by Columbus, but this is a look a minute ago at Lapkus getting closed down quickly by Pereba. Chicago, though, was not able to keep the ball. It's a foul coming from behind. Be Adrian Gonzalez. He goes for goal, and it's taken by Stechnij. Comfortable save for the teenager. Trying to go around the wall. That's exactly why you set up the wall as you do. That's well done there by Stechnij and the organization, and then making the save in the end. looking to come forward again with Lamont Rochester. Rochester and Kofi combined well last week, and they do again here. Kofi looking in field, pass in front. Oh, big save. How did that stay out? Stas Lapkis. The threat's not gone as the cross is fired all the way through. What a save, a reaction save from Stas Lapkis. Kofi putting it right in front, and it is off his forehead. Remarkable from Lapkus. Not trying to do too much. And this is played to behind. Jaden Da was well offside. Turned over. Columbus went back in a good area. Here's Adams. Adams cross back post. Headers in. It is.
is Jabron Rio to break the deadlock. And Columbus Crew 2, the underdog Capybaras this time, they lead in Chicago. It all started from the turnover in the middle. Adams finding some width. He's mostly been the goal scorer this year, but he stands over this again. And he'll play it down the line. Brown to the end line. Cuts it back towards the penalty spot. Acrobatic attempt there by Rogers. Bounces once and is cleared away. Columbus, though, able to keep this in. The service from Adu Giumfi. The header is wide. Adams was up for it. He set up the first goal, and he nearly scored a second for Columbus. Great whip ball in. It's exactly what you want from your attacking players in the box to head it back across the face of goal. But it's just a bit too wide there from Adams. have had the lion's share of possession, but only be able to muster three shots in this game compared to Columbus's seven. The in-swinger, Hopkins punches it just straight in the air. He'll have another chance, and he comes to claim it. Well done by Stas Lapkis. Good goalkeeping unit for Columbus above him. Of course, Patrick Schulte, who was part of that championship winning team back in 2022. He's the regular starter now for the crew and the first team. They'll start their playoff run. That'll be on Tuesday against New York Red Bulls. Now from behind, and we talked to Kelvin Jones this week just about the buzz around the club he said it's been great but he says it's not because of a random game for both he said we both put ourselves in situations to be where we are and he said it's not it's not enough just to get into the playoffs we want to make a run they have definitely first and second teams have been great in these playoffs over the last few years Kofi the player goes down in the box Pereba it's cut back for Purpa Luca Purpa it sneaks through The equalizer for Chicago Fire 2. Luca Purpa, that ball had eyes. Gonzalez, the outswinging ball. Adams puts it across. It's turned in. Jaden Daw gives Columbus the lead. Just like that, Columbus is back on top. This team that has been full of goals in the playoffs finds another one. And it's their big number nine. Played over the top. Headed away through the minimum of three, and we are through this first 45 minutes. There is the whistle. We are underway for the second 45 minutes. Columbus trying to advance to their third straight Eastern Conference Final. They have won their first two. Trying to do it here again. And now turned over, and it's a point to the spot. Columbus trying to play out, and it goes all wrong. A penalty given to Chicago, and a yellow card to Jacob Green. And Lafkus trying to take a few extra touches. Green getting caught in possession. He went to ground. Pereba gets taken down. And that is pretty straightforward there for the referee, and an easy point to the spot. Reba is ready. Golden Boot winner, David Pereba against Stas Lapkis. 
He slots it in the corner, and Chicago is level. David Paraba with his 20th goal of the season, and the Chicago Fire are back level at 2-2. will look to play it down the line. Lamont Rochester's on it. Runners in the middle. As it comes in, it's cleared away. Back to the top of the area. And Adams gets it out. Chicago able to keep it only momentarily. It was a missed touch. And now Columbus can stream forward. Wouldn't necessarily call this game open and transitional in that first half, but happened to maybe a few moments in this second half where we've seen it. Teams, though, happy to be on the ball. With the juxtaposition of goalkeepers in this game. Per Perp up scoring his first goal. Pereba scoring his 20th goal. That's a whistle that will go Columbus's direction. Gonzalez, weave his way through. He was brought down. Gets the ball rolling quickly again. Able to touch this into space. Zenge going low, it's in! Xavier Zenge, the center back, stepping forward and giving Columbus the lead again. Just went low and hard with this shot. He just ran into that open pocket of space. Played him behind again. Gonna make something happen. Kofi plays it up back post. Brought down by Amari Glasgow. Lays it off for Reynolds. Reynolds on it was left foot. And it's taken by Lopkis. It was on target, but a good hit from the Chicago right back. His feet set, got it on target. Not able to beat Stas Lapkis. This portion of the match is brought to you by Allstate. Stechnij, long distribution. Glasgow keeps it in play. Here's Orahel Jr. Broken up. Here's Adams. Adams trying to catch the goalkeeper out. And it's a touch save by Stechnij. That would have made it 4-2. And Adams nearly from midfield. Looked like that was on target. Stechnij had to touch that out of play. And it's a corner kick coming for Columbus. The referee holding his wrist up, saying, let's get a move on here for Columbus. Adams nearly went for the spectacular there. Gonzalez standing over it. An outswinger from the corner. Keita's up for it. Nods it towards the top of the area. And this is blasted well out of play by Chris Rogers. Space infield, Kofi, he was fouled. It's a free kick to Chicago. Looking 
Through the middle again, positive first touch, and the shot is just over the bar. Harold Osorio so close. It's out for a Columbus throw, and now we just wait on the whistle. That is it. The Columbus Crew 2 are moving on to the Eastern Conference Final.